Comedians from the World Series of Comedy Part 11. The End. That's what's coming up on the Art of Bombing, Episode 178. My friend Dan, he's got a podcast, cause all comics need a podcast, and nobody had a podcast called The Art of Bombing, so Dan went out and bought a tape deck, who knows why he bought a tape deck, now cast don't get played on tape decks, but Dan is from the 80s, so hey there all you funny jerks, come talk to Dan about your work, tell him all about your worst times, it's The Art of Bombing. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Art of Bombing. Dan Bublitz Jr. here with you again, as always. Uh, we've reached it. We've done it. This is the final installment of episodes recorded at the World Series of Comedy. Granted, the World Series of Comedy ended on Saturday, uh, and it is now Monday. I still had a handful of episodes to release, and so I did that, and this is the last one. Today, I am joined by Michelle Malazaki. And uh, we had a great conversation. I do want to apologize. I am a little nasally. I got uh, some nasally issues from altitude and weather changes and sinus issues. Uh, but we're going to get through it. Uh, before we get into this episode, if you haven't done so already, I could use a five-star rating, a nice review, maybe say some nice words about the podcast. For everything else, you can find it on the theartofbombingpod.com, including merch with our new logo. That's right, we got a new logo, we got new artwork, and it is pretty legit. In fact, uh, several people have already been buying t-shirts and uh, some other swag, and I want to say thank you for those supporting the podcast uh, by advertising, by wearing that, that Art of Bombing swag. Thank you so much. All right, here is my uh, conversation with Michelle. Enjoy. Saki, like me, Saki. Yeah, yeah. And then my, it, and then there's a movie. Um, gosh, Os, not Oscar Mayer, Mike Myers movie mm -hmm. with um, gosh, what is it? I can't remember the title. Um, there's a Fukumi and Fukuyu in a movie. Is that is that uh, from Wayne's World? No, Maybe. it's after that. Oh. Gosh, I can't remember the name. Anyways, I uh, <laughs> I'll remember it later. Um, so Fukumi. Fukumi is like, that, that's a make. I never heard of Fukumi and Fukuyu. And then uh, my sister has had a co-worker. Her name is Fukuyu. Uh, Fukumi. Like, oh. like Fukumi. <laughs> like Fukumi. Like, oh, what? And you're like, well, yeah. maybe they're more accurate than I thought. Yeah, like, <laughs> what? I... And then I have um, friends named Miho, like Miho. <laughs> that's, that's funny. How is your How is your name pronounced? I, oh my gosh! So I go by Michelle, yeah. but it's not my real name. I kind of figured. Yeah, but it's Hisako. Hisako. Yeah, but what, when I came to America for the first time, um, other kids like, oh hey you Hisako, my dick, like. Oh. What? Yeah, and then I didn't know what's the dick, so I look it up in a dictionary. It's not in there because it's a snag. Yeah. Like, yep. Wh what? <laughs> <laughs> so now you couldn't, couldn't figure out what they were saying. You're like the butt of the joke, but you couldn't figure yeah, out what I'm the like, joke was. Yeah, I have like, no I idea. Get it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, okay, it's not. now I know. It's from Michelle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're like, when I learned, well, we better change that. Yeah. <laughs> Enough okay, of but that. It's business. so much easier to go to Starbucks and older. Mm hmm. Like, you don't have to spell out your name. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, even even not spelling out your name, sometimes they get it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I'm supposed to off get, get offended. I'm just too lazy to get yeah, offended. Yeah, I'm the same. A lot of times, and I have a, the easiest name. My name's Dan. Yeah. And sometimes I'll, I'll they'll, you know, if I go to Starbucks or someplace where, like, they call your name, and then they'll, I'll say, they'll, what's your name? I'm Dan. And then they'll get it done, and they're like, Don. Don, um, the, and I'm like, like oh wait, they're talking to me. They totally got my name wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, when I came to um, live in America, it was the election year. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I said it right. Election. La, la. Can you hear my L sound? Election. <laughs> Anyways, working hard. Uh, yeah. On that. <laughs> um, and it was the um, Dan Quayle was the vice president mm -hmm. or something for the, for the um, candidate, and on the um, radio. 
It was like, don't vote for damn quail. I'm like, what? You could say damn? For On the, the radio? Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> what? That mean for the, you know, if you are running against damn quail, you could say bad things. I knew mm -hmm. that, but you could say damn quail? And then later on, I found out his name was Dan. Oh. <laughs> But that's what I no, heard. No, that's funny. You heard it as yeah, damn, damn, yeah, damn like, well, but it was could, yeah, because <laughs> you know they were saying all the negative things yep. up to that, and don't vote for damn quail. Like what? You could say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get away with uh, it. Seems like a lot, and even as uh, the t more of the time passes, it seems like we get a lot away yeah. with a lot more on what we can and can't do on you know TV and radio yeah, and things yeah. like that. But from the marketing stamp view, you know, you it's better off not to say bad things about the other. Yeah, guy. I think so too. Yeah, I don't. That's one thing I don't like about politics is that in, it's never about the issues and what you're gonna, what the candidate has a plan for or doesn't have a plan for. It's always about trying to, you know, ruin their character and, you know, this person does this and this person's that and who cares. <laughs> We're all yeah, we're all but, human. We all do bad things. But and then it seems like I I don't know for sure, but it seems like there's like one talking head and all the people around him, mm -hmm. like a like a secret handlers. They have all the secret agendas, mm -hmm. and they try to do it through the talking head. It seems, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then no, like that's uh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, like yeah. I I don't. I don't trust all the people there. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not a, I don't, not to, I've never really trusted any politicians. Yeah. I don't care how good they claim to be in the end. They all have like an agenda and they're somebody's, they're in somebody's pocket. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean like for $400,000 a year, that's too much work, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I, I already have enough problem on my own and I have to take on, you know, 3.5. How many, you know, so many 350 million people's problem onto my shoulders? Yeah, no. right. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like with him too, like, I don't think, cause he's not one that is a hard worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's yeah. not ever worked hard yeah, yeah, in his yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't think, I honestly think that he entered the election and was purposely being outrageous. Yeah, to yeah, help. yeah, yeah. A marketing, Mar well, marketing to help uh, Hillary get elected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it backfired, mm. and then he was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, yeah, now yeah. Now I yeah. have this job Bad. I don't want to do. <laughs> 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 but since I got it, now I'm gonna let it feed my ego. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, like I don't have to buy Ferrari anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a whole plane yeah. that can take me everywhere now. <laughs> Oh man, how have you been enjoying the festival so far? Oh, it's far? fun. I, I I was like, so I wasn't gonna come six months ago because I, I don't know we're gonna go back to regular situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that never happened because I thought, oh my gosh, I this this sounds a little too much for me, like way above my oh yeah, a yeah, little yeah. intimidating yeah, yeah, to yeah. come out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then, I can see that. Yeah, and also I know you're a man, but like it seems like a man heavy event. Well, yeah. comedy in general is yeah. man heavy. heavy I mean, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. is. It, it's one of them things where obviously there's more men that do it, but yeah, that doesn't yeah. mean there's more I, funny yeah. men that do it. It just. I, stats, I think the ratio is the same, but there are just many more men doing it. So. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, because there sure are a lot of men that do it that are not funny at all. <laughs> That's I, for sure. I, I, what, okay. Um, I, one thing I hate is that, like, the water cooler comedians think they are stand-up comedians and be on stage and taking up the time. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. you, you, you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I hate those people. I'm sorry. Yeah, whenever – it's funny because whenever somebody uh, – you're talking to somebody and, and they're, like, talking about why they're doing comedy or – Somebody new. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah. ah, well, all my friends say I'm really funny and I should try this. Like, anytime somebody comes up to me at an open mic and they're uh -huh. totally new and they say that, I'm just like, ah, well, yeah, the, I got to leave because you're yeah. not going to be funny. The, wa <laughs> the water cooler. I mean, and then also for me, like, if 
I, you know, you, some, most people, they could speak English perfectly.、Mm-hmm. So, you know, <laughs> that doesn't mean you are funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I sometimes, I, even I, I, I can't、uh, speak English. Uh, properly, all the time. I always fumble <laughs> over words. It's funny. People make fun of me a lot about、Aww. that. Oh, that, 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 that's good. That's good. <laughs> I mispronounce words all the time, but it ends up being really funny. <laughs> so, a lot of times, a lot of times, more, more times than not, it's really funny because、yeah. I say something, you know, I'll say the word wrong, but it ends up being so funny because of the way I、yeah, say I, it. I can't, I don't know what's wrong. I can't read right. Like,、mm-hmm. I read your tattoo. Like, oh, yeah, oh, you thought it's a coro- hey, coronavirus. Hey, coronavirus. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> Very passionate about this coronavirus. <laughs> I'll have to,、uh, I'll show you. I've got this mask that says, basically says fuck coronavirus,、yeah. but it, it doesn't say the fuck. It has the Mickey Mouse hands doing、oh, like yeah, an yeah, appropriate yeah. gesture. It's pretty funny, but、uh, uh, that's what I should have had tattooed <laughs> yeah, on there. <laughs>、oh, I, I don't, that's a commitment because, like, once you put it on,、mm-hmm. I mean, you could take it off, but it's going to hurt more. Oh, I yeah. Hurt. Yeah, yeah. So that's a、like、commitment. It is. Well, that's why with, for tattoos, like, I have several tattoos, but every tattoo that I get has some sort of significance. It's not, I don't just go get random things. <laughs> I don't go get random tattoos. I mean, some people do. Some、mm-hmm. people are like, I love tattoos, and they just get whatever art, and, you know, just to go get a tattoo. And, you know, more power to them. That's their choice. For me, because you're right, it is a commitment.、Yeah. So、I'll, everything that I've gotten, Except for one tattoo, and even it has, it has significance because it was the first tattoo I got. I turned 18 and I could、mm-hmm. get one, and that's what it signifies.、Okay. But the, the, the tattoo itself, it's dumb. It was a, it's a dragon from a, a shirt that I had、uh-huh, that I thought、uh-huh. was really cool. Because、oh. when I was in my early 20s, I was a big fan of dragons, and you know, I played Dungeons and Dragons、uh-huh. and all this stuff. So in the fantasy, so to me, it was like, oh, this is cool. You know, now that I'm at my age, I'm still, <laughs> those things are still interesting, but I'm like, that's a dumb tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like,、um, some like, Chinese character tattoos people get,、yep. but it's like reverse. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, or it has like extra dot that doesn't make the original、oh, meaning anymore.、Yeah. See, now that's something I would never do. Yeah. I would never get、uh, a tattoo in another language, especially in like, you know, Japanese or Chinese, where it's more,、yeah. the writing is more symbols than, you know, letters or whatever,、uh, because you don't know that. And then also more recognizable, because like Arabic. Languages or Thai,、mm-hmm. like not too many people could read it, so maybe I don't know. You're still, you're still taking yeah, that chance.、Yeah. If you can't read it yourself, you're taking the chance <laughs> that that tattoo artist can put anything on you. know, you're, You may think like, you're getting a tattoo that says hope, love, and <laughs> yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. And it, they're really saying <laughs> something the yeah. opposite.、Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one thing I would never do.、No. Yeah, like、um, in Chinese or Japanese, the ca- Chinese character,、um, if you have like a big, it means big. But if you have a dot on the wrong spot, it means dog or fat. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> like just a little minor thing yeah, to like make like, it mean something. If you have、really、a mole,、different. like, oh, that's. A dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not big. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that. Yeah, but I, I always think about that, though, when I do see people that get that kind of stuff、mm-hmm. on there. I'm just like, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the right meaning.、Uh, yeah, how do you know that's what it means? Yeah, that's and, very risky. <laughs> and also,、um, in Japanese, like hand paper means letters, like letter that you mail.、Mm-hmm. But in Chinese, hand letter means toilet paper. Oh, wow. So, like. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Like, even in the two different yeah, yeah. areas, they yeah, mean something totally, totally different. Totally different. So, you gotta be careful. And then also, like, love person. In China means like a spouse, but love person in Japan, like, yeah, having an affair with this love person. <laughs> You're having what? Having an affair. Oh, ha- oh an affair. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said having an affair. And I was like, what? Yeah, having, yeah, an, having affair. an affair. Oh, yeah, like、wow. a love person. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But, that's interesting too. But in China, that means just have a spouse. <laughs>、yeah. So then what is having a spouse in, in, Japan. Just 
Just having a spouse. <laughs> just having a spouse. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, was like, hoping, uh, I was hoping there was something, something yeah, like, more um, yeah. creative. <laughs> You're like, no, just having a spouse. spouse. There's no love there. No, no love. You're just married. Yeah, like what love? <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't say love. <laughs> it's a business partnership. Yeah, what a, are you talking yeah, about? <laughs> yeah. In Japan, when you are married in like traditional way, mm-hmm. the wife holds the wallet like the husband makes the money, and the wife takes the money and then runs the house. Yeah. But not in America. I didn't know that. I only watched the sitcom, <laughs> and they didn't show that part. <laughs> you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to write a write an angry letter to the, to the editor si- of yeah. Hollywood to tell them they need. Yeah. To why make don't some Why don't you talk about financial <laughs> thing in a sitcom? Then I would have. Stayed in Japan or something. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have came here. I came for the American dream, and it turns yeah. out that American dream was a, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lie. No I mean, all, it, all the housewives in America, it's so easy. Like Mag, Marge Simpson, <laughs> she just having to keep the big hair and make stink eyes here and there, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe you can get there. You just gotta just keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> get that that in the find independent wealth. <laughs> independent wealth. Mm. What's that? What's wealth? What's that? Yeah, I definitely what? don't know about wealth. That's for sure. <laughs> but you know, I I would rather be wealthy than rich, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, what what do you what do you what what to you? What's the difference of being wealthy and versus well, rich, being rich? Sounds like bubble money, like you. Get millions and then you spend it all. Oh, okay. Right? I, I don't know. I, oh, I yeah. guess no, that makes sense. And wealthy, but wealthy just like means stays uh, stays comfortable. Yeah, you've got stability, financial yeah. stability. Yeah. Okay, I, that that makes sense. I could see that as the kind of two different meanings. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Rich could be dick. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, well, I think wealthy, there could be some, some dicks there, too. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. especially in this country, there's a lot of them. <laughs> you know, like the, I, I, when I came to America, I was working at the copy center, the mail center at the cottage. Mm-hmm. And I had to put the mail letters that came, that came to the um, teachers in the mailboxes. But then it's like so hard. Like Richard is dick oh, or rich yep. or like why... Then, yeah, they have <laughs> these weird. They have the weird short versions of yeah. names where it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like Henry is Chuck. Yeah. What? <laughs> yep, stuff like that. I mean, like in Japan, Bill Clinton couldn't couldn't be Bill Clinton. It has to be William Clinton. <laughs> oh yeah, it yeah. gotta be four like, more. Yeah, formal. Like, like why are you running your being a politician with your nickname? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's I, yeah, that's interesting. Because you're right, because it is more formal over there. Yeah. Over here, yeah. we're just like, whatever. Casual, more very casual. Ca- very casual on a lot of things. When you came over here, did you, you know, you said you stopped in Missouri. Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> well, just visited. Or there. just visited. But where did you, did you move to L.A. right away? Is that where I, you first I moved came? to San Diego first. Oh, that's right, because yeah, yeah, you went yeah. to school there. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you, you came over to go to school yeah, and then, then ended yeah. up in L.A. Okay. But um, I went to San Diego State. But I, it's supposed to, it was supposed to be like number three party school at that time by Playboy magazine. <laughs> <laughs> but I, nobody invited me to parties, so I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Decided not to be a career student. <laughs> yeah. But like I, I told you, I'm like good enough to graduate from American university studying foreign language, but not my, I, I'm not smart enough to get a career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can get the degree, but I can't do nothing. Yeah, with like it. <laughs> uh, housewifing. What, what did you get a degree in? International business. Oh, oh okay. International. My, I'm doing yeah, my gotta hair get, flip. Gotta get, yeah, gotta get all um, fancy with it. Yeah, it, uh, it, it was the number one international business school when uh-huh. I went there because that was the only school that offered. <laughs> 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 That's always so funny when. <laughs> When uh, schools or businesses or whatever yeah. will say things like yeah. that, where they're like, yeah. oh, we're the number, number one, one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's because they're the, you're the only one. Yeah, but now they are like number eight. 
Yeah. In the nation, yeah, yeah because there are eight school maybe offering yeah, the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the fact that it went from one to now there's eight that yeah. tells you that obviously it's a it's a industry booming, or <laughs> booming industry. Booming, yeah, people are all trying to become you know international yeah. business wealthy people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wealthy. <laughs> that wealth, gotta get that wealth, <laughs> wealth. Uh, that's interesting. Have you – now, that's good, though. Like, I feel like with, you know, being – now that you're doing comedy and stuff, do you often find that that's kind of having that background? International business, ha- business background. Uh, but they feature my story on their um, publication. On um, what? On the They feature – my story, me mm-hmm. in their publication, like alumni story. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the alumni uh, got an international business degree and now doing stand up. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> Exposure's exposure. Yeah, but I toured in Japan, so I guess that makes it international business. Oh, there you go. Did you? So did you? So you, you toured in Japan doing yeah, yeah. comedy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah, you yeah. perform in both Japanese and uh, art. Yeah, you do yeah, speak Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I was like, wait a minute. All right. <laughs> no, I, yeah, <laughs> Better I make teach, sure. That was yeah. a lot to just throw in there. <laughs> I, I teach Japanese at the adult school. Oh, okay. Because um, <clears throat> you don't – that's what you do when you go to foreign country and you don't have any other skill, but – Yeah. yeah well, you yeah, know you see that, that a lot. Yeah, like, a lot of Americans go to Japan yeah. and, to teach English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what I did. Oh, okay. I mean, well, that's what I still do. Yeah, I gotcha. So – but – because I, I talked to, uh, you know, I have yeah. a little bit about that, too. Asked if she's ever performed yeah, in... Yeah. in, in the... Oh, and then we've been doing Japanese um, stand-up here and there on Zoom. Yeah, that's what she was saying, yeah, because I was asking about that. Because yeah. I know other people who, who have, you know, other f- languages are, as their first language that perform. have did shows in that, you know, in that language. It's, I always find that intriguing because of the, you know, obviously there's different translations mm-hmm. and different... Uh, different way people perceive humor in different Uh parts of the country and things like that. So you got to, you know, translate it differently. Yeah. And then also I think from what I studied, um, but from Google, um, Japanese comedy is a little bit different. And usually there are like duos and more slapstick comedy. Oh, kind of like Abbott Costello. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And also like props. Prop mm-hmm. comedy, like um, flips, using a lot of flips and stuff. Oh, okay. I can't draw, so I can't fl- do the flips. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yep. Just doing, yep. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the big white Yeah, pad. white, yep. yep. And then, yep. like, tell story based on, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, That's So if I do, when I do Japanese stand-up, it has to be story-based because the, I've, I've a lot of stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, do you find it? Do you do so? Do you do a lot of your same material, but like translated? No, I guess, no. it's so a do you little do, bit different. Do like yeah. completely different yeah. material. Because I I like word plays, mm-hmm. so um, that it doesn't really translate to a different language. I don't think when yeah. you do word play in one language. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Cause in English you can really do a lot of word play. Yeah yeah, but it, not, I, mean, I used to do a lot of puns, mm-hmm. and then uh, this famous comedian came up to me last year. And he's like, Michelle, if you want to be a successful comedian, you have to drop your puns. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, you think I'm going to be a really successful comedian? <laughs> You're like, yes. But uh, you know, on my way home, I was like really upset because he denied everything about me. Yeah. I'm from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's funny i have a friend that was really big into puns he mm-hmm. did all the time he's on his uh facebook he's posting puns in fact they have i want i, I want to say it's in austin maybe it's in dallas i can't remember which one but it's in texas mm-hmm. they have an annual pun oh it is the, um what is it pun pun drum pun it's like the like a national. I know, champion. I know. I, I want to go there. It's like Gosh, it's somebody's it? name. It's like Jim something's annual pun off or something. I don't know. I have to ask him. But my friend went. He's went a couple of years, and he's the the last time he went. I think he got Panderdome. Panderdome. No, no, no. This is uh, I have to ask him yeah, what yeah, is yeah. the name of it's called. But he's actually did that because in that you kind of write stories filled with puns. So like you know. <clears throat> but he did um, 
He's did it a couple of years, and he did pretty good the first year, and then the second year he even did even better. Mm-hmm. He got like oh, wow. third place, wow, I think. Wow. He ranked third in it. But. Yeah, and then I think there's a like a bottle of puns, and then you have a theme, and you have to do one at a time, like a um, gosh roast battle kind oh, of, and okay, then you have yep. to do the pun battle battle based on the theme. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. and then you have to one up. I want to go see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be fun to watch. He, yeah, yeah. When yeah. he was there, he uh, he took some he he did some video and some live stuff, and so I got to watch some of the stuff mm-hmm. that was going on there. It looked pretty pretty fun. Yeah, but I think it's like improv. When you watch it on video, it's not as fun as in person. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, that's. I feel like that's even with stand up. Yeah. Like, yes, true, you can watch stand up, and it's going to be good, and it's yeah. going to be entertaining. But, but it's not, not the experience yeah. of seeing it true, live. True. You know, when you see it live. It's just something way – because what you see on TV, especially with stand-up, it's cleaned up. It's yeah. edited. It's per- almost per- perfect. And then like, oh, it was on this <coughs> angle and all of a sudden that angle. Oh, my gosh. How yeah. much – how my crane shot? And what? what happened <laughs> And what happened in between there? Was that yeah, when yeah. the comic accidentally swore at somebody yeah. or and whatever? Then, you know what I mean? And like, don't they take like two same set and then like – Cotton. Well, depends. Yeah. Sometimes they Patch do even it. more. But yeah. I mean, I, I did a, a taping, and they yeah, we did two shows, yeah. and they'll take both shows yeah. and put it together to make one. Yeah, so, so. that's not uncommon. But yeah. but like you said, when you go to a live show, like, and I remember this when I first moved out to California, I went to a show, and the comedian was fairly famous, and you know, I'd seen some of his stuff on TV, you know. <laughs> And it was good and cleaned up like it's supposed to. And yeah. then you see him live. And it wasn't that he was sloppy, but he was real. Mm. You know, like yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he made an error. He, he he accidentally set up one of his jokes wrong. And they called himself out on it. So oh. like, you know, like, and that is a different experience yeah, yeah, than yeah. what you're going to see on yeah, TV. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, you, you're not going to see that on a special. Well, maybe now you would because people are getting more artsy with stuff. But back then... You probably wouldn't have saw something like that. You'd yeah. only get that experience live. Yeah, I went to see the taping of Whose Line Is It Anyway. Oh, wow. And it was like an all-day thing. And then the improv part, too, they would just keep on, like... Going like, again. Yeah, like, ah, uh, I saw that already. And uh, it's not going anywhere. Just... <laughs> 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 or different. <laughs> wow. So they filmed all day? Well, yeah. Mo- so, what did they do? Like, did they bring in an audience? Well, they then- they have like different segments, and yeah. then they have the the same audience, and I think they they just use whatever, and then also they make maybe three episodes out well, of. Well, that's one. what I was yeah. gonna say. It sounds like they just like get two or three. Yeah, episodes I think they had one. different guests. So mm-hmm. at least twice. I can't. Maybe three times. So okay. it could be three. Wow. Yeah. That's still a long day, though, to yeah, watch yeah, no. improv. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, improv can be fun. But even watching anything, I don't think I could watch 10 hours of stand-up <laughs> yeah. in an audience. Yeah. Like, uh, well, it doesn't matter how many times they change the comedians. After after a couple hours, even after three hours of comedy, I'm like, okay, this is too much. Yeah. Um, but Wayne, I, I like Wayne Brady. Like, yeah. Uh, so good. so good. He was. He, he's really good. He's really good. Yeah. He's very talented. I mean, he entertained me all throughout the day because he's so funny. Yeah. Did you, have you uh, have you went to a taping of uh, Let's Make a Deal? No. Or is that is that the one he does? I think he does something. I, yeah. I forget. I think that's the game show mm. he does. Is uh, maybe it's Deal or No Deal. I don't remember so, which yeah, one. Something like that, it's yeah. one of them game shows that he hosts, but uh-huh. I went to a taping of it when I was oh, in wow. California. It was wow. a lot of fun because, yeah, he's really good. Yeah, really good. I, I went to his show at the um, Civic Art Center because mm-hmm. I'm cheap. I thought, <laughs> oh, I don't have to buy two drinks. <laughs> but it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, really he's good. good. He was just on uh, The Masked Singer. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, he okay. won one year, yeah. but he was just on the other day uh-huh. on there. And he had sang as a guest. Oh, or whatever. Yeah, he, he's got he's nice a, voice. He's a really good yeah. singer. Yes, very and then, talented. And then he could sing like different styles too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that was one thing. He was always on whose line is it? He was really good. Yeah, at he's that. always the singing part. Always yeah. the singing part. Yeah. Yep. He always did so good at that. Yeah. That him and uh, I really like Ryan Styles. Yeah, I like Ryan Styles. Oh my gosh! I Those was like, three, I think, yeah, I was favorite. just keep on watching at his feet, his shoes. Like, oh my gosh, that's a huge shoes. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, <laughs> well, you know what they say about a guy yeah, with I big know. shoes. Big shoes. They got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> or big socks. Or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they got long socks. Long socks. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, you know. And compared to my short little legs, <laughs> definitely long socks. I, I, yeah, one time I lost weight, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I lost ten pounds! I'm, I'm I must look like Kate Moss." So I bought new. I went to buy new jeans, but it's not it's not the weight. It's how I, I don't know. It's the, the, the shape. basic shape yeah. that I'm not <laughs> like. I put on like I tried on many jeans, but they all look dumb on me. Like. <laughs> It's not. It's not the weight. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's true. It, it, that's a good point. It does definitely has to. The fit has to yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. And I usually ha- I always have gap on the back right here on the mm-hmm. like the small of the back. Like I I could put like a small Madden between my <laughs> pants and my back. Am I like shaped wrong or make something? It, I can make it look like you have uh, a hunchback or something. Yeah, yeah, but like, there. yeah, but I, I have a space in the back. Like most of the pants that I try on, that's that space. Like, yep. why do American people have more back? Probably, well, muscle. I don't know. I don't know about back muscle. <laughs> probably some more. Back. Or maybe the <laughs> butt starts way above the waist. I don't know. Well, I think I think it, it's a lot of the butt and back just kind of blends. <laughs> blends it's just one thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no real no, no. no real difference. It's just kind of <laughs> yeah, because I always have a get, but it fits like tight on the front, mm-hmm. but like space in the back. What's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough about clothes. I'm not a, a fashion uh, connoisseur. So. <laughs> so I, I'm asking the wrong guy. You're right, definitely asking the wrong guy. <laughs> but your shirt said, what's your story? So I thought, you know. Well, my story ask. definitely isn't about the fashion. fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do know more about uh, women's clothing than a man my age should. Because I, I used to work for an estate liquidation company. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we, you know, we sold stuff online and. I had to, you know, do a lot of research on clothes and stuff when we would sell them. So, what was the We're, most like bizarre thing that the you... most bizarre thing that we probably got? And I and I've been asked this before, and I always forget about it. But <laughs> the I don't know why, because it is funny. But the most bizarre thing was a sex swing. Like that's All something right. that came in, and then we did sell it. What, somebody bought it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Does it have any stains or anything? <laughs> Look pretty clean. But oh yeah. What, who knows? <laughs> because when I was in high school in Japan, I lived in a little suburb, mm-hmm. but in a city, if you are um, high school student, a girl, female high school student, and if you don't, if you need like extra cash. You could just take your panties off and set it for fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah, well, they still do that now on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, crazy. I heard, I heard people buy socks. It's weird. Yeah, people, people have some weird, uh, weird fetishes Fetish. and stuff. And I don't know. To each their own. I have no judgment here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, okay, socks. Mm. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, because I suppose people have weird uh, feet obsessions too. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. That's, so I suppose the the socks play into that that weird you know the foot fetish thing. Mm. I've uh, my I've kids, so I, I've like a lot of stinky socks. Maybe I should <laughs> maybe that maybe that's how you that. get. I mean, yeah. that's how you gain your wealth. <laughs> oh, and invest. <laughs> invest. I, I should go. just go to Costco and buy like twelve <laughs> packs of socks for eight ninety nine. Yep, and then yep. make it into like hundred dollars a pair. There you go. Yeah, you don't even have to wear them. You can just say they're worn. It People will buy them. <laughs> oh my gosh, my I don't know. Like usually, my socks stay soft even after I wear them, but my kids' socks they become firm. Why is that? Like stiff. Well, you better are ask they doing your, something else? <laughs> maybe. I was going to say you might want to ask your kids. But even my but, daughters too. Like ah, uh, I don't know. I say yeah. I, my socks usually stay pretty pretty soft. Soft, well, yeah. Until. You know, I'm I'm really cheap on things, so like, I'll wear a pair of socks until they're lots of holes. Oh, as, soon, as soon as they get holy, then I'll throw them away. But yeah. otherwise, like, Just, yeah. But like, maybe in, some but. people might like socks with holes because it's like well worn. No, oh, maybe maybe I should be trying to sell my socks. Yeah, I don't know because we, not, might, we might have a new career path. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because not too many people wear socks that because I I don't know about you, but like when I was young. 
clothes used to be more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Like pajamas were like fifty dollars,、mm-hmm. and so I only had like one winter pajamas and one summer pajamas. Yep. And my kids are like, "Mom, why are you poor?" <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you know, at Costco. It's like eight ninety nine for you know four piece pajamas. Like yep. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Especially like real pajamas. Like were really expensive. Yeah. Because but that's the other thing. Like you look at that now. A lot of like. Like what you would get at、uh, Costco、uh-huh. isn't prop. The quality isn't what you know it would but, have been. When, and the fabric is different. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's cheaper impr- fabric. Yeah, it's improved but yeah. cheaper. But yeah. yeah, but cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, and they can make it, I suppose, in bulk. But I, re- I do remember that. I remember like fancier pajamas、uh-huh. where it was like a, you know, like silk. That's what you want. That's what you wanted. It. You get,、uh, <laughs> you get like the pants, and you get like a button-up yeah, 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 pajama yeah. shirt thing.、Yeah. You know, it's yeah. But, But not, I guess not too many people wear those kind of pajamas anymore. Yeah, I don't think so.、Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really a pajama person. I wear. Oh, that's too much information. Yeah, well, <laughs> there you, go. you 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 took the conversation that way. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess it's okay to be naked here because it's the garage. That's right. Nobody's yeah, gonna nobody's see me. I can do whatever I want、you. in my room. I told you. See, I got a good、yeah. view of the parking structure. Well, I'm in a basement, so this is nice. You got the. You got. You see real people. I only see like nothing. Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, I've heard、uh, some of the views that some of the other comics got. They're like, yeah, they're like, you got a view. I just got a wall. <laughs> yeah, me too. I got the wall. <laughs> and then like and wall. yesterday was sad because the wind was blowing, and then there's something like floating back, you know, blowing back and forth、oh, in my area. Really? Yeah. Just like, like garbage or something. Yeah, garbage、oh, or something.、Man. Like ah,、oh. <laughs> makes it even more sad and desolate. Yeah, like sad. Like ah,、oh, it's November. <laughs> Sad holidays coming. Yeah, I'm yeah. by myself here in Las Vegas. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you know you got to look at it more positive.、You're、like I'm by myself in Las Vegas. Yeah, no commitments. <laughs> <laughs> Can do what I want. <laughs> Now we've been talking for quite a while,、yeah. and we haven't even got to no, no, this bombing. bombing. Yeah, I bombing. Hear, I want to hear your story about、okay. bombing. Okay, so I've been doing stand up for like three years,、mm-hmm. and um, I. The first pay job was、um, was at this Chinese restaurant,、mm-hmm. opening for Chris Delia, and he has like totally different crowd. And I went in and did a set about me wanting to get a I don't know me wanting to get a baby that looks like Shirley Temple, and like it was a harsh, harsh. I mean, I, I don't know. Some people came up to, after me, came up. To me afterwards, and they're like, "Oh, you you are funny," but like I think that's because I was right there. But、um, ah, ah, ah. yeah, I got paid, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's I don't know. It's I could definitely see that where like as a comedian, you know, ultimately you want to write so everybody yeah. will laugh at your yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to try to keep it so it's general, but. Having there's certain comedians that have their demographic, and when you're doing a show with them, that's going to be their demographic, and not yeah, you know, it's not. Yeah. I've I've did that. I've worked with comics who are you know they have a good following or whatever, but their their crowd is not my crowd, you know, and I'll struggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like、uh, <laughs> it was hard, but I, I at the same time I was like eight months in, and I was like so much anticipation, and then like it really. Crushed, like ah,、oh. <laughs> but I got paid. <laughs> yeah, well, see, and that's sometimes that's the best part about it.、Yeah. Even if you bomb, you, you get paid. But like on on that, obviously, you felt like you, they they didn't get you. Was there anything else that happened like throughout the? The, were they just not getting any of your jokes?、Or? No, they 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 were laughing like to be polite. I think. Oh. I I, I don't know. I because I I I don't because the. Yeah, I, it was totally different kind of、mm-hmm. people that I、yeah. I've never I don't know it was like totally different. Yeah, yeah. and then and then this Monday, <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, I I ah、uh, ah、uh, 
<laughs> no, I, how do you how do you feel that you, you your set was? Do you feel like you bombed on Monday? Yeah, because unfortunately, with no, this, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. We can't I, watch, like fifteen but. seconds in, I knew I was doing it wrong. Oh no! <laughs> but then I already had a set, and I I was like, okay, I was I was determined to go, but uh it didn't. So you just you were. I, oh, I just so you could tell that they weren't going to be into it, but you just yeah yeah. I just can, kept on kept going. going. Yeah, but what what made you feel that way? Like what what did, how did you open and then how did you know that that this wasn't because I go? fifteen seconds <clears throat> in I remember it was a competition. <laughs> oh, so you weren't. Oh, so okay. I I was doing a so I was like so I've been doing a lot of Zoom set mm-hmm. and Zoom set is different different kind of intimacy yes and i was doing zoom set in person oh uh, okay yeah and then you, on so you zo- were in the 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 mindset of performing like on zoom versus yeah yeah yeah, performing yeah for that's, a live audience oh, okay yeah and so it was i don't think it was a bad set on zoom but in person it just doesn't Translate work at all work, at yeah. all <laughs> and like 15 seconds in and and then I also remember 15 seconds in, like, oh, it was a competition. I, I, I need the first laugh right here. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> and this is, it's going to take another 15 seconds to get maybe a laugh. That's not good. <laughs> yep. And then if you don't get it, it's yeah, just yeah. longer, the longer yeah, yeah, it yeah, takes yeah, to get yeah, the laugh, yeah. the worse it goes. And then maybe they are not with me already. So, mm-hmm. like, uh, yeah. And that's the thing, too, like, and when you lose, if you lose an audience, or well, you can't really lose them if you don't get them. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. At the yeah. beginning, yeah. you know. But if you don't get them and you continue not to get them, yeah. If, then even if even if you do do something funny or say you know do a good joke, once the audience decides that they're not with you, they're going to try not to laugh at anything because they've already made that opinion and yeah. made their mind up that they don't yeah. like your comedy and that's it. <laughs> so actually, this was the worst <laughs> bombing in my stand-up career. Oh no. <laughs> to be here uh. i'm like oh my gosh it's awful and then like i had all this time to plan and what was i thinking i totally forgot it was a competition but i feel like that coming from los angeles uh-huh. that does like to this contest it's uh-huh. got it would it would be harder to prepare because you don't have a lot of stand-up options mm-hmm. right now with everything being yeah. closed because of the pandemic you know where other parts of the country, things are open and there's some comedy and there's more opportunities to perform. Like, I example, I went and did some open mics before, uh, before I came out oh, here. that's good. You know, I yeah. did like three shows yeah, last, yeah. last week before that's I came. Good. So I have opportunity to, to like actually practice, be in front yeah. of an audience versus, you know, doing yeah. Zoom shows and stuff. Because you're right, there's a big difference performing yeah. And also, Zoom. like, I, I did, in average, I did like 38, 40 some months, 50 some shows, Zoom shows in last eight months. Holy so I buckets. was like, I'm so ready for this. Yeah. I, and I just masturbated in front of everybody. <laughs> I am so, so sorry for the people who was there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, I'm sorry you guys had to witness this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm like, so Are you sorry. in the Displaced Comedians group? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I yep. am. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. I'm, I just had uh, Nick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick, or Nick. Nico. Nico. I had a Nick yeah. on here, too, but I have oh, okay. a different Nico. A Nick yeah. from here. But the, Nico. the red beard. Yeah, yeah, I had Nico on uh, the, the podcast uh-huh. uh, just a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. But, nice. yeah, talking to him about that. Because yeah. that's a pretty interesting group. Yeah, so, as... um, so I got one time I did a set in Japan and um, Europe, maybe England. What time of day do you have to do those? Oh, my gosh. In Japan, 4 a.m. Oh, my God. There's no way I could do that. Yeah, so I, I'm not. Well, getting, I mean, for you, it could be 6 a.m. Either way, yeah. I'm not getting that up, up that early. Well, I got up comedy. like five minutes before. <laughs> I'm that, no. I, yeah. There's no way I could get up five minutes and then Joe go try to perform. Yeah, so no 4 a.m. <laughs> and then like noon for England and then New York and um, Canada and Los Angeles in one day. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a long day. 
<laughs> Man, that's a lot of traveling. Yeah, I bet yeah, you, yeah. You're exhausted from all that traveling you did. <laughs> but it's nice. Like, you don't have to go anywhere. Yes, yeah. 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 So, that is one thing. Yeah. That, one advantage of the doing, like, the virtual comedy and stuff. It, you don't have to go, go anywhere. anywhere. You don't yeah. have an eight-hour drive or you don't have to jump in a plane and, you know, be stuck at an airport for hours while you're waiting for transfer or what all those other things. Yeah. And it's, also, like, I live like 40 minutes outside of Los Angeles, mm-hmm. but I don't have to drive like, okay, kids, do homework. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just change and... Go do your yeah. thing. Yeah, that's always nice. I I actually set up a thing in my basement. Well, mm-hmm. I'd already was working on it, and it just worked out that I was like, I, I wasn't using it. I, I was putting a basically a showroom in my oh. basement. Oh, nice. And, and I was working on this pre-pandemic, uh-huh. and then... When the pandemic hit, then I had more free time, yeah. so then I finished it. I got oh, it all nice, done. I nice. built the stage, got it all done, got it all set up, and then I then just sat there because I couldn't use it because yeah, I couldn't yeah, do yeah. any shows. And then I was thinking I did a corporate event uh-huh. on Zoom, uh-huh. and or I guess it was on Teams. Either way, it was a virtual thing, um, and it was okay, uh-huh. but I didn't feel like I performed very well, mm. and I felt like, okay – I got to do something different so it feels more like uh-huh. a show. And then I was like, you dummy, you have a showroom in your basement. Uh-huh. You can just go do these in there. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And so I now I set it up so that, you know, I got a table and everything. Uh-huh. So, like, I can I can stream and do virtual shows oh, nice. from my basement. Yeah, oh, nice, so now nice. I, I, when I perform, I'm using a mic. mic. I'm using a PA. Oh, wow, so I take, wow. I take and set up a mic in front of my computer that's hooked to that for the Zoom uh-huh. and then to pick up the room audio. But then I use my PA and I'm performing on my stage. So it's like I'm at a, doing yeah, a real, a real show. show. Yeah, real show. That's great. Yeah, I have a room that's dedicated to Zoom shows now. <laughs> but um, I'm, I, my microphone is not plugged in. I'm just like a prop. Just prop. a prop, yeah. 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 But it just feels so comfortable holding something hard <laughs> yep. close to my mouth. <laughs> Well, that might be getting taken the wrong way by some people <laughs> listening. <laughs> the uh, the bumming and bombing is what I call it. The yeah, dreadful yeah, yeah. feeling when you have yeah. a bad show. How does how does does how long does that usually last for you, and how does it affect you? I try not to think about it, but like I'm just keep on kicking on my butt. Like what what was I thinking, Michelle? Yeah. Like just so I try to distract my distract myself, but sometimes I. R- I ran I to get mind off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it really, like, you know, you you can't, when you do a bad set, I I can't, I, I can't blame on other people. Mm-hmm. Like, I, well, I should have, I was just looking at my set too, too close. I should have. See, I should have looked at it from afar. Yeah, the diff- whole try picture. Try to give it a different yeah. perspective. Yeah. But I wasn't doing that, so I'm like, I could only blame myself for not mm-hmm. being able to deliver what I'm supposed to be doing. So maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. That, well, that's the, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to yeah. try to learn, learn from when we when we bomb and make those, you know, the mistakes. Try to learn from it yeah. so we do better but, next time. Which. It's a good leads into my next question. Uh-huh. How do you? What do you try to do to analyze your sets to try to see, you know, if you had a bad set, what went wrong? I mean, obviously this Monday you didn't. Uh, you didn't. I you did. couldn't tape it, but you already knew right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Like fifteen seconds in, I'm supposed to have a laugh right here, and I mm-hmm. like, oh, Michelle, stupid. <laughs> and also, I had a chance to look at all the audience before, and I should have change my set Mm -hmm. after looking at the people what was i not doing that (laughs) yeah yeah. well and where where were you on the lineup Uh, second second so so you had a chance to see another performer too yeah 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 yeah. it's not right off yeah Yeah. Mm, excuse me uh yeah yeah because i could see that and then also um sometimes the um like it's it's not it's just just shows in general zoom shows too like some hosts really bring up that mm-hmm. energy up yeah but some hosts are like just because especially it's competition they don't want to fluff it up maybe they can't yeah, yeah. they got to try to keep yeah, it yeah. as so even it's as they like, can because it's you know yeah yeah that's one thing that 
it's definitely definitely kind of sucks as a, yeah. in, a, in a competition. Yeah, yeah. The host can't, you know, they, you know, Maybe. like if they were hosting a regular show, show they'll the showcase. Up, they're yeah. going to be like, ah, oh, this next comic has did this, yeah, this, yeah, and yeah. that, and the other, you know, and name all their credits, and then you know, bring them up, and then. But with a contest. I might have. You have to be fair. You have to yeah. be fair, yeah, because I might have a really good credit, uh-huh. but the next comic might not have any yeah, credits, yeah. and then now that gives the audience yeah. a different, different per, yeah. uh, uh, expectation, and it also makes them a, a different perspective on that comic. They're like, "Oh, well, this guy's a pro. This, this guy's an guy's amateur. Like, yeah. So I better vote for this person yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know. So." It, yeah, so they have to kind of keep it. Yeah, intro is really hard, I think, because like you don't want to upsell you, but undersell you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think I almost sometimes feel like being upsold is worse than being mm. down. Like, like I would rather them just say my name than uh, yeah, 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 list a bunch of credits. Like I've had intros where they're like, especially at like an open mic. Oh or yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, like, why are you? I, yeah, she's now been at, you've created an expectation. I, yeah. If I go up here and bomb, yeah, yeah. they're gonna be like, how did he get all this shit? Yeah, you even, know what I mean? even like, oh, she's <laughs> super funny, Michelle. Like, oh, super funny. Oh, that's a yeah. little pressure. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I just be a little funny? Yeah, like <laughs> just the uh, average funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you just say, Michelle? Oh. She's mediocre funny. <laughs> 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 but like super funny, my friend. Like I never met you before. Yeah, that's <laughs> always that's always the funniest. Yeah, like, that's the funniest never thing. Seen my on set. How showcases. can you say you are friend and the friend thing is funny. Yeah. It's like my friend, really funny. Coming, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're, well, apparently in comedy, we're all friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Do you have any pre-show rituals or traditions that you try to do that you have to do before a show? Maybe I should start bowing or something. <laughs> start bawling. Bow, bow, do some bowing. Yeah, praying. maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I was missing <laughs> on Monday. Like yeah. I see, I wasn't paying respect to the audience. I am. I'm still apologizing. I am so sorry. <laughs> Michelle. Well, well uh, it happens. You can just live and learn, live yeah. and learn. I mean, you just, you, you know, you know, wait for the next show and take all that information and make it a better show. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's all we can do. But uh, then at the same time, I got to learn a little bit faster because I'm not, I, I started late, much later than all the other people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have less time. Like, yeah. you know, some 20 year olds, they got like. 40 years ahead. I only have like well, three years. <laughs> no, I would, see, that's, I think I, I disagree with that. I have to disagree with that because this is one thing like people that are 20, yeah, they have a lot of material, but their jokes don't necessarily have substance. Mm-hmm. You know, like I started comedy late too, and I'm glad I did. I, I don't, I mean, I'm sure if I would have started comedy when I was 19 or 20 and I stuck with it at my age now, I'd be doing really well. But starting as late as I did, I had more more things to grab material from i have more more experiences that most people have experience with you know a 19 20 21 year old you know you look at your typical average audiences you know it's a demographic of maybe late 20s to your your early 50s that's you know and that's probably i'm probably being generous with that yeah that range 20 year olds are gonna have a harder time you know being relatable to these because they they have no experience. Yeah, I know. Like I hate it. Like twenty five year old came on stage and said, "Yeah, I feel so old." I know. Uh, 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 <laughs> just wait twenty five more years and feel <laughs> how I feel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But but starting late. Yeah. I have all you know, and, and, and I'm sure you found this too. You have more experiences to draw comedy from, and not just to draw material from but to be relatable mm. to audiences <clears throat> if that makes sense yeah yeah have you found that that way or i i think starting comedy late is um i have like less sub, um distraction mm-hmm. because i oh my gosh i came maybe i came to america because i like white boys and in comedy, too many white boys. If I were like twenty year old, I'd be like, "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They're all so cute! Oh my gosh! Look at those white boys!" But I'm like, you'd be okay. having the, yeah. you'd, be, you'd I mean, be you in comedy for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. But now, 
Like I'm happy to meet all those white guys, but I'm great. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, now I'm not interested. In that. <laughs> That's funny. What's been your best uh, or your favorite gig that you've done so far? My favorite gig. Gosh, I've. I I don't know. I I do. Um, I'm a mascot for my kids' school at the elementary school. Mm-hmm. So I'm a Rocky the rat rattler the rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> for my kids' school. And, um, well, I, so I usually say hi, bye a few, few times a semester. And then this one kid, well, this one mom came up to me one year and she's like, can I take a pic, can I take a picture of you with my son? I'm like, uh, sure. He's like, she's like, well, we are moving away. And she asked him what he's going to miss most from the school, you know, teacher, yeah. friends. And he said, Rocky the Rattler. Oh. oh my God, that's amazing. I know. That's beautiful. I know. I know. That's and so I also beautiful. do um, women in history every year. So I dressed up as in a women in history and go to each class and talk about things, what she did as, as that person. Yeah. It's great because all the famous female, they go to Yale and Stanford, and I'm like, yes, I got PhD from. <laughs> <laughs> Call me doctor. You get to pretend like you're yeah, one yeah, of them yeah. people. <laughs> That's and, funny. and then all the kids, um, and I try to make it a little bit more inspirational or motivational, mm-hmm. so um, kids will have different perspective in life. I, I, I'm just doing comedy just to meet people. <laughs> Well, that's a good. There's a lot yeah. of a lot of opportunity to meet people in comedy. I mean, not always good people, but yeah. <laughs> and I, I just want to make people laugh. And mm-hmm. then i I like make I, I like making kids laugh too. That's I awesome. mean, I like I like making strangers yeah. laugh. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That's uh that's a beautiful favorite gig. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where can people find you? Um, I uh, at home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if anybody <laughs> shows up to your door after listening to this, that's oh my on, gosh, that's on the you. Not Jehovah's me. Witness came to my house, and they look at me, and they're like, "Is the um, the owner of the house home?" Wow! <laughs> and I have like regular home. <laughs> it's not like I don't know if it were like million dollar estate. Sure, I could be a home, you know, housekeeper. <laughs> But it's just a regular just house. A regular house. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Um. Well, I I started TikTok mm-hmm. about stationery because I'm very passionate about pens and paper and occasional puns. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more than occasional puns, but yeah, <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, my daughter thinks I'm not gonna be a TikTok famous person, so I want to be TikTok famous. <laughs> So what's your TikTok then? Oh, it's um, at M Marizaki, M-M-A-L-I-Z-A-K-I. You know, I should have married somebody. So Marenzak, Marizaki, is not a real Japanese name. I'm married to a guy whose name is Marenzak, so I Japanify it to Marizaki. <laughs> I should have married somebody like Jones. <laughs> With an, a then real I, easy. Like, like Jones, yeah, like... Hisako Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Be a lot easier. Yeah, a lot easier. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm like making your stories too long. That's um, all right. All right. Well, thank you for well, coming. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the Art of Bombing is a Blitz Entertainment production. Hosted and produced by Dan Bublitz Jr., the Art of Bombing intro music was written and performed by John Holt. All other music used in this podcast was under the Creative Commons license. If you would like to help the Art of Bombing, you can do so by subscribing, rating, and reviewing our show on whatever podcast application you use to listen to the Art of Bombing. For previous episodes, blogs, and more, visit artofbombingpod.com. Have a great week, and remember, stay safe so you can live to love.